a waste of money. Yeah, your education was. You should go and give a refund to whatever city you graduated in as an apology. What's going on guys and welcome back to D-League. My name is Damien and today we're going through r slash murdered by words. Judge to a troll who was found guilty of harassing a British politician. You are an inadequate man who cannot cope with the reality of having reached your 50s without ever really achieving much save for acquiring some criminal convictions for violent and abusive behavior, and a habit of drinking too much alcohol, and sitting at your keyboard venting your frustration to others who, in your view, have the tem temerity? Temerity. <laughs> I don't know. To put themselves in positions of public service and hold views with which you do not agree. In other words, you are a cunt. Big one. Real big one. Aside saying, if you don't like Satan shoes, don't buy them as the same side that boycotts Chick-fil-A for being Christian. Just don't eat there. No, yeah, that's what, literally what a boycott is. So, how about you please join us next week on Explaining Words to Kevin Sorbo, where we tell you uh, what a synonym is. A kid sold his Xbox and did a little bit of work on the side to buy his mom a car. This comment though, good kid, but why couldn't his mom get her own car? Was she sick? Disabled? If not, I'm not too thrilled her child got her the car. There's gotta be a reason for it. If she could work, she could buy her own car, but a kid with a generous heart, I just hope he doesn't regret it. You know, maybe she works to pay bills, keep a roof over her kid's head and food in their bellies, and there's nothing left in the coffers to be able to buy, tax, and run a car. Sounds like she's done a great job in bringing up the kids to be thoughtful and kind, which is pretty damn good in my eyes. What is your parent? What, what have your parents done? Ohio bar owner refuses to show NBA games until LeBron is expelled from league. And that's because, of course, as everyone knows, the NBA and TV networks absolutely love the idea of 100 guys watching a game for free in a single bar with one cable box. This boycott's gonna bring them down to their knees. They're gonna be begging, pleading and begging, please, please broadcast our game again. You know, the corporate media and the woke mob don't want you to read this book. They tried to cancel it, they failed. One week until publication. Ah, oh, yeah, I see. The woke big tech companies don't want you to read this. Anyway, here's the Amazon link that I'm posting to Twitter. Goodbye. You know, when Lamborghini said we don't do commercials because our target audience isn't sitting around watching TV, uh, man, that hit me like a ton of bricks. It hit me like my brand new Lamborghini in the driveway. <laughs> yeah, hit me too, a few years back. I stopped wasting time watching TV. Well, do you own a Lamborghini now? Hmm? Go ahead, answer quick. I'm basically on a bunch of machines. Hospital keep me alive at this point, but I improve the more I fight. So let's make a deal. I'll fight as hard as I can and beat this if y'all promise to make me one of the biggest rap artists in the world. That's all I want. Deal? Bro, you were popping when I was in middle school, and I'm 26 now. It's time for you to settle down and start a family. You're three coughs from Social Security, and you ass and your ass begging for clout. Well, it's to fight his illness. <laughs> Cause everyone knows the best vaccine is attention. Yo, let's see how many subs they can get from this comment. All right, well, let's see how many people care about your comments. Ah, current people is zero. Wonder how many subs you got from that, bud. I'm proud to be an American because at least I know I'm free. All right, hold on. The Europeans got to see if they're enslaved. <laughs> Sorry, one second. I'm gonna go check if the moon has any other flags on it. Yeah, go ahead and call me when your moon flag pays your hospital bills. Then we'll then we'll go ahead and concede. But until then, that means nothing to me. I would like it if every time I ate pizza, girls twerked behind me. What if the girl twerking was your GF and it was the first time she's meeting your family? Uh, depends if she works there. Oh, well, apparently you haven't met my GF. Well, she's right there resting on your mouse. Can you introduce her? Yes, I can. Everyone, shake hands with my hand. Don't ask where it's been. You won't want to know. Balan Wonderworld will leave you with a sense of wonder. A nagging sort of wonder. The kind of wonder that makes you wonder. Wonder how a game could so masterfully miss literally every opportunity to treat its players with a modicum of respect. Wonder how a very well-known publisher could stomach having it in their library. Wonder what in the world happened with the Switch version. Wonder where your $60 went. I just came to chat. Yo, but I need money. Well, where do you live? Napoli. You can help me? Yeah, here we go, indeed.com. You're welcome. You realize nerds are the only reason you're here? How tough a nerd's the only reason I'm here? Did you forget who made your phone or the computer you're typing with? Well, that depends on where it's made. Don't make me think about that, that makes me sad. You say you like baseball? I've never met a girl who likes baseball. Well, I don't like, I love it. Okay, the name of the NL East teams in the next 10 seconds, no Googling, ready, go. Well, it was nice to have met you and maybe it was Braves if you'd asked this question, but it was somewhat insulting. I could fillies you in on the answer, but I'll have to pass. It seems to be a Nationals problem with men trying to expose bonus. Girls are not being real sports fans. Instead of taking our word for it, but don't worry. You know what they say, there's other Marlins in the sea. See ya, bucko. CNN's Don Lemon. 
justice has been served. And we all know he would have never said this had the reverse verdict been reached. Well, Ben, that's because if it wasn't the reverse verdict, justice wouldn't have been served. And that's an amazing, astute observation, my friend. Very disappointed that Blank was open on Anzac Day. I think it's a total lack of respect for those who gave their lives for us. Well, I, Blank, the owner of Blank Espresso Bar, are one of those people. I served in the Australian Army before opening Blank. I'm still a reservist to this day who could be called upon by our government to serve overseas at any moment. Went on, I march at Valentine service and the catafalque party. I go to every dawn service, as do my staff. Instead of getting drunk or playing two up, we choose to serve hot coffees for my fellow diggers after their service. Don't even start about respect. You as an outsider have no idea. This is a public car park. You have taken parking spaces for two weeks. This is not fair on residents who rely on this car park. The council has been informed. To the writer of this note. Firstly, I would like to thank you for the vigor with which you are defending residents' right to park in this public car park. I have not taken parking spaces for two weeks, as you claim, but actually two years with this vehicle and six years before including my previous vehicle. I agree that it is annoying when there aren't any spaces left in this car park. However, that is the nature of a public car park. And something we all have to live with. For at least three nights last week, I had to park on blank. While I appreciate your opinion, I will be continuing to use this car park, where spaces permit, for the foreseeable future. I would have thought that my house being 200 feet away from this car park would have qualified me as a resident. If you'd like to discuss this in more detail, I would welcome the opportunity to hear what the council's response was to being informed that a car is parked in a public car park. Resident of Blank, go fuck yourself. Relative to body size, the loudest animal on earth is the lesser water boatman, Micronecta Schultzi. It is two millimeters long and can sing at 105 decibels by rubbing its penis against its belly. Damn, I wish I could do that. Guinness World Records lists the insect under loudest penis. Oh, I thought the title loudest penis belonged to Piers Morgan. He learns something new every day. Oh, he wouldn't take too kindly to that one. He'll, he'll run off the set of his new show. This is fucked. Fucked like your face. You know, my old school RuneScape videos get more views than your porn, so I really, please, don't pipe up. You're, you're good enough at getting piped down. Piping up, not so much. Need a little practice. I got polio from the vaccine and was paralyzed from the waist down. Parents should do their own research and take the time to weed out dangerous, unnecessary vaccines because their doctors do not have the knowledge or the time to do so. Oh, really? Is that so? Because you're standing up at about five of your Facebook photos. Do you have polio? Or is it polio? Because you're a liar! I'm not pro-life or pro-choice. I'm pro-education. Teach people about birth control, cycles, the impact a child have, and teach about the pros and cons of having a baby and abortion. Neither is easy. Let women decide, but at least make it an informed choice. You know, that's pro-choice, dumbass. You just described it. Electrical engineers who designed the chips and PCB. Pathetic. Electrons. <laughs> Eat shit. Quarks. Suck my dick. Well, you know, one really would need to get to a subatomic level to find your dick, so that's a fitting comment. Dude, retire already. Nah, did Willie Nelson or Johnny Cash retire? Or better yet, the older fellows that still play in bands at local bars and the legions? It's in our blood. Hip hop is the only genre where people think you have to quit when you get old and that's just simply not the case. You just evolve and give it your best to reinvent when you love what you do. You don't quit or retire. Have a good day, sucker. Please improve your English first. Dude, your bio says what ain't kill us makes us stronger. I'd sit this one out. Yeah, no, being grammatically accurate doesn't make someone smart nor dumb, especially when it comes to specific languages. Many people don't have English as their first language, you dumb fuck. Also learn to write with words, not numbers, you lazy dumbass. Got him. Got him good. That's why you never talk up in Instagram comments. You get demolished. Really any social media. You're an ass, you get your ass handed to you. And that's gonna do it for r slash murdered by words. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to leave a like down below and subscribe for more videos daily. And until the next time, my name is Damien. You've been watching Daily, and I'll see you next time.